How to design restaurant menu in Canva. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to make some uh, restaurant menu designs and I will give you some ideas on how can you get the templates from Canva. So it is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you're going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over to canva.com Sign in for an account and boom, here we have the dashboard or the reference dashboard. Once you are here, you're going to create your menu by typing on the search bar at the top. And from here, we are going to write in restaurant menu. And you are going to click on enter or type in enter. I am going to search for restaurant menu and normally it will give us here the Canva templates that are available. So basically uh, here, everything that you can think for or off is going to be available on Canva. So on the side of restaurant menus and etc., it is going to be available. So here we have some templates. We have some different sizes templates that we can choose from and then modify. So we are going to pick up a, uh, let's say here, a um, maybe from here, a menu, for example, this, this one and this one are going to be nearly the same. I think that this is longer and this is a little bit wider. So we are going to see the difference. Here we have the portrait uh, 8.5 uh, by 14 inches. And this is going to be here a portrait uh, by centimeters. So we're going to customize this one. So I'm going to click on customize. Boom, here we have our uh, menu. So we are going to put here the um, things. If you want to set up the, uh, as you can see, the ingredients or the names, you can go ahead and double tap on anything. For example, Jack Smith, for example, restaurant, restaurant. Like this, I have put my name at the top. You can add your logo if you have one. We have here the food menu and we have uh, this one. So I am going to basically here to set up, uh, let's say here the name or the restaurant name. So I'm going to give it a name here. Let's go ahead. I'm not going to lock it, but I'm going to duplicate it. So we are going to make it a little bit bigger like that. And we are going to make it bold. So I'm going to here basically delete that. You can add a, let's say here, some logos instead. Now you are going to see here the main or uh, appetizers main entry. For example, main entry. So we have here appetizers, we have beverages, or we're going to name it drinks, for example. And here we have it. So what are we going to do here is to change up the menu. So we are going to zoom in a little bit. We are going to see some clearer details. We can get here to change the background. So as you can see, this is a uh, made background. So we are going to have here a gray background. I'm going to click on add page and I am going to change here the uh, menu to something like this or that. So what are we going to do is to have these, this and that, copy them, put them here. And what are we going to do is to have these, boom, with these. And these two, I'm going to select here as many pieces as I want. I'm going to put them here. So now we are going to have this with that, this with that, and also these. I'm going to put them here. So basically, they will take their place right here. Now we are going to put them like this. I'm going just to modify them, not modify, but drag them here a little bit to the right. Put them like that. 
now we have still something that we do not we di we did uh forgot which is going to be here the frames we're going to copy paste here and then we are going to set up the position two of them to back or backward so i'm going to put here backward 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 just like that Maybe you are going to ask yourself why I did that. So I have created a duplicate of that menu. And then we are going to add some photos. So for these, these are going to be some frames. As you can see here, we have some frames. So I'm going to delete these frames and let you see how we can get them. So we are going to type in frame and we are going to see all of the shapes of the frame. So you can add, for example, this frame. A square frame like that uh, instead of uh, the uh, rounded one we can add this and finally we can get this or put it just like that so we are going to get this instead I'm going to approach this here now for the photos you can go ahead and head over the elements and type in food and then you're going to see the photos we are going to select some of the photos from here of course we are going to select the free ones i'm going to put this for example here the uh let's say here these are the drinks mean entries so we are going to put this one here and the drinks we are going to set up here drinks for example drinks and we are going to choose photos of course now we are going to set up this boom now this is our customized menu if you want to add another type of menu you can go ahead and change the color here i have chosen this design because i want to print it in case i want to print to my restaurant or to my clients like that this is the right dimension because i'm not uh, here professional to set up uh, some uh, more uh, printable uh, areas so what are we going to do here is to have maybe some of the uh, as you can see them here so we are going to get some graphics here we have some resembling or resembling graphics so we have the magic recommendation which is going to be working to our favor so we are going to get here corners or frame corners let's say here that we are going to get maybe this or that one so this is better i think we're going to put it like that make it a little bit bigger just i think like that and we are going to change the color of it to something white or we can go ahead and do this so here this is another frame that i have chosen now what are we going to do is to add some uh, things like these uh, but the menu i'm not going to change because you can go go ahead and double tap on any menu and on any price and make them like that so i like the arrows but i'm going to add some photo frames first so we are going to head over here we're going to use the frames or photo frames i'm going to type in here frame so let's use maybe this type of frame so i'm going to make it like that so basically here we are going to put this i'm going to put a line and also an add another one so i have here another menu type in my head i'm going to put this that and finally another one here so we are going to put it just like that now i'm going to have here a line by clicking here on the items or the elements click on type in line we're going to add a line here where is that line so here it is i'm going to put it from here you here and this is our line 
Now this one, I'm going to duplicate it, put it in here. I think that this is the right side. Now, what are we going to do is to have these, as you can see, uh, ingredients or uh, the prices. I'm going to make it a little bit larger like that. Put them here or maybe a little bit smaller. So we are going to have also the appetizers. I'm going to paste them here. Just like that. Put them like this so here we have 19.1 uh, we are going to set up here 19.1 also so 19.1 so we are going to get here nearly the same thing i am going to head over here copy paste it here and we are going to set up 19.1 boom now we are going to drag them here. This is the uh, place of them, like that. So here we have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here we have something maybe plus. Where's that? Oh, okay. So basically we have uh, these set up like that. Now. What I am going to do is to have here some pictures again and add them right there. So I'm going to type in here pictures or we are going to type in food and then we are going to get them or get the photos from here. For example, we are going to put this photo here, the world mark photo. So I'm going to set up only the uh, free pictures. Here we have this, I'll put them here. Uh, we're going to have here something like here drinks. So we're going to select one of the pictures. For example, this one. Put it in here. Now I haven't finished yet. So we are going to uh, copy and paste in this area the menu or the uh, header. So now I'm going to change the color for that to this color. Boom, here we have our menu. And this doesn't stop here. You can go ahead and customize it more, have more ideas like, uh, for example, here I have forgot about the appetizers or the titles. The look. So I'm going to basically have here this in here. We are going to get it just like that. So here we have the main entry. So I have here something for the, uh, as you can see, the frame. We're going to change the frame color. This is the text color. So basically, I do not want to change the text, but the frame itself. So we are going to change the color of it to something like this color. So just like that. We're going to have here the things going on. I'm going to copy paste here. Uh, I'm going to put it here. It is going to be symmetrical to the uh, first one and also this, as you can see. We're going to put it just like that. Let me see here. What do we have? Here, I think that it is going to be like this we've had some spaces before so we are going to drop it like uh, like this i'm going to put it here or put it more in like this i think this is better so we are going to combine them control c paste them here just in line now, what I'm going to do is to copy the uh, names of appetizers. We're going to put them here. Boom. And the last one is going to be drinks. Boom. And here we have the menu. Now, what I'm going to do is to click on share. 
download and then we are going to select pdf to print or pdf print and then we are ready so basically here we are ready to uh, print this menu or any type of menus that we have chosen and then we are going to set it up for our restaurant that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and i hope to see you soon on the next one